Hello friends, today we're going to be sharing a story from the Jesus Storybook Bible. If you have one at home, you can turn to page 62. It looks like this. Are you ready to begin? Today's story is called The Present, and it's the story of Abraham and Isaac from Genesis 22. God knew that his secret rescue plan could only work if Abraham trusted him completely. God had to make sure Abraham would do whatever he asked. So a few years later, God asked Abraham to give him a present. Now Abraham loved, liked giving presents to God. He gave God his animals. They were called sacrifices. And they were a way to say, I love you to God. But this time, God didn't want a lamb or a goat. God wanted Abraham to give him something more much more. God wanted Abraham to give him his son, his only son, the son he loved, Isaac. Put his boy on the altar and kill him as a sacrifice? How could God want him to, to do such a terrible thing? Abraham didn't understand, but he knew that God, his father, loved him. And so Abraham trusted him. Early the next morning, Abraham and Isaac set off. They climbed the steep stony trail up the mountain. Isaac carried the wood on his back, and his father carried the knife and the coals. You can turn your page now, friends. Papa, Isaac said, we have everything except we forgot the lamb for the sacrifice. God will give us the lamb, son, Abraham said. They built an altar and laid the wood on top. Abraham asked his son to climb on top of the wood. Isaac didn't understand, but he knew his father loved him, and so he trusted him. He climbed up onto the altar, and Abraham tied his boy to the wood. Isaac didn't struggle or try to run away. He just lay there quietly and didn't make a sound. Everything was ready. Abraham took the knife. Tears were filling up his eyes and pain was filling up his heart. His hand was shaking. He lifted the knife high up into the air. Stop, God said. Don't hurt the boy. I want him to live and not to die. I know now that you love me because you would have given me your only son. Abraham felt his heart leap with joy. He unbound Isaac and folded him in his arms. Great sobs shook the old man's whole body. Scalding tears filled his eyes. And for a long time, they stayed like there like that in each other's arms, the boy and his dad. Suddenly, Abraham saw a ram. Caught in some brambles, the sacrifice. The ram would die, so Isaac didn't have to. And so Abraham sacrificed the lamb instead of his son. And as they sat there on the mountaintop, watching the embers of the fire die in the cool night air, the stars above them sparkling in the velvet sky, God helped Abraham and Isaac understand something. God wanted to rescue his people, not to punish them, but they must trust him. One day, someone will be born into your family, God promised them, and he will bring happiness to the whole world. God was getting ready to give the whole world a wonderful present. It would be God's way to tell people, his people, I love you. Many years later, another son would climb another hill, carrying wood on his back. Like Isaac, he would trust his father and do what his father asked. He wouldn't struggle or run away. Who was he? God's son, his only son, the son he loved, the Lamb of God. 
And thank you for sharing this story with me today. But we know that's not the end of the story. We can read our Bible and learn all about God through the Old and the New Testaments. Today, I'd like to say a prayer for you. Friends, when we say a prayer, we can say a prayer out loud for our friends to hear. We can say it in our heart or we can say it in our mind. Today, I'm going to say my prayer out loud so that you may pray with me. Are you ready, friends? Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your many blessings. And we thank you, Lord, for the Bible. And although sometimes these stories are hard to understand, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that can guide us and teach us your ways. We thank you that you loved us so much that you did give your only son for our sins so that we can live in heaven with you one day. Thank you for these, your beautiful, wonderful children. Thank you for their families. And thank you for the chance that we have to learn about your word. Lead us and guide us throughout the week. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for reading and praying with me today, friends. Bye for now.